Are you serious? And did it even move? Let me just figure this shit out because that... To me that didn't seem like it was actually going anywhere. It didn't give a shit. Are you seriously going to just be humping the air right over there and not doing anything productive? Well, actually, unproductive because I'm kind of hoping that you would like. Yeah, how about you go there? No. This doesn't seem like the monsters before. This might be a completely new one. an important question why the fuck didn't your head blow off no 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 why must you be such a problem Yeah, it doesn't give a crap. It's just stuck there. It's it's like I'm going to I'm going to look at this this box. And that's the only thing I'm going to do in my life. Screw everyone else. If someone ever needs this particular box, they're not going to get it because I'm going to be guarding it with my life for the rest of eternity or however long it takes for me to, you know, die or break down or whatever. You know what that is? That is also bullshit because I did I did most I most definitely did not touch that box. What the fuck is your problem? Also, those boxes have like, I don't know... Mental abilities. As in, they are literally moving on their own. And seriously, when I get close to these boxes, like anywhere close... How about you shut up?
You know, this is bullshit. Here's, here's how this is going to work. I'm going to like build a wall and make you pay for it. Oh, now you're annoyed! Well, shit! Why the fuck are you there now? Well, at least that's maybe slightly better. Why do I get the feeling that this game is really wanting to set up a chase scene? So basically, I need to sneak very slowly. Okay, Miss Robotnik. Just don't, don't get triggered by me moving in this direction. Better not have turned.
Shut up. I'm basically just clearing up a path so that I can get there, but I, I have a feeling that tonight's gonna be a bad night. Because I still don't understand the strategy here. Just a centimeter at a time and everything will be all right. Nope. Inching forward. Okay. Silently, slowly. I don't want a chase scene. That's what that's the last thing I want. Okay. Perception check. Roll D20. If you fucking freak out... Ah oh shit, there's a whole ton of crap here! Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. <laughs> Shit, fuck, 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 fuck. It's alright, it's alright, it's alright. Okay, at least we know that it isn't particularly perceptive. So probably just, if you're in the line of sight, 
Freeze, stop, remain quiet, don't trip on anything. Also, if the game has a trigger, like for a chase scene after this, I am going to call bullshit because I figured it out. And that would just be the game punishing me for playing the way the game wants me to play. Which apparently is, just go really slowly and don't, don't trigger anything. Tap 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 You stay right there. Nope, not having any of that stuff. Nope. We have gel, power, cortex chip. Okay, checkpoint, bad or good. Fucking why? No, don't, please. It's cold storage, that's not where I want to be. Med bay dive room, this is where I want to be. Why? Why though? 
Well, I want to, I want this part over. Why? Why must you follow me? The longest corridor, the slowest walking. Or creeping. I could I could run but I'm not sure if I want to risk it. Oh fuck, it's the longest corridor. This is like the greatest setup for a freaking chase scene. And if it if that's what it's going to do then fuck you. No, fuck you, 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 fuck you. I fucking called it though. Okay, you know what I need? I need a health top up. I've had I've left so many of those health things untouched. I'm going to go get one now. We're going to need all the speed. Now we got it. We got a checkpoint after the power back. We we uh, we should be fine. There has to be one of those health things somewhere around here because I haven't touched any of them. There it is. Yeah, fuck you. Are you serious? Oh, oh, that's that's just that. Okay. I have all the three things that we need. I fucking hate chase scenes. I actually closed my eyes when that happened. Like, that's genuinely how much I hate them. Yeah, I know. Creepy and stuff. Yeah, please don't. There, the penalty is having to do that part over. And it seems that there's a two-strike system. As in, you get hit once, and you're fine. Get hit twice, you have to go back to the previous checkpoint. And I am at like full health now. Fuck 
fucking chase sequences. Most definitely not giving it any extra time, so I'm just making making my way through slowly to the beginning of the hallway, and then we're going to fucking leg it. Okay, fucking go. off another one of WoW's monsters. We have everything we need, right? Yeah. Let's get to work. <sighs> okay. Slap a Cortex chip there. Worry, it'll work. Okay. Insert power. And sure coat it all with, with gel. All the parts. All right, try activating the seat from the terminal again. Holy fuck. Retry. I can't believe we're doing this. It will be fine. Then why don't we put you in the suit? I was gonna suggest that if you refused. You'd go without me. I need to do this, Simon. This is important. I need to launch the Ark. You'd really do it, change body. Yes, if you want to stay here, I'm not gonna stand in your way. I don't want to tell you what to do. What would it be like before? Close my eyes and then... And then open them again. Alright, let's do it. Thank you, Simon. Go sit in the pilot seat in the next room. You might need to boot it up. Okay. Let's change our bodies. Again. I think we may need to do another puzzle thing. Okay, the amplitude looks good. Just need to offset it. And the frequency is wrong too. I think it's now more or less lined up. And the frequency is still a little bit wrong. Okay, I think that's the frequency, now I just need to m make it match. I think that's it. Lock parameters. You can climb into the pilot seat now. Already? I have everything under control. So Whew. Okay. Sorry about any discomfort. This should be over soon. It's like having your picture. Copy and paste. So with the most expensive camera in the world. You know, Indians stock photos would steal their souls. In this case, they'd be right. <laughs> well, looky here, it worked. Still talking. It's the same like before. Catherine, why was he still talking? That's how it works, you know that. What do you mean? You know it's not magic. You were copied. The sleeping Simon in the seat was copied, and now you are here, just like Simon lived on in Toronto. God damn you, Kath. Two Simons? There can't be two Simons. What did you think would happen? That you were gonna take my mind and put it into another body like a brain transplant. I'm sorry, it wouldn't work that way. You realize how messed up this is? Please, I didn't mean to upset. How did you expect me to react to this shit? Stop. You're fucking disgusting. What's gonna happen to him? He'll sleep for a while, a few days. And then what? Wake up in this fucking nightmare again? All alone? That's so cruel. Well, what do you want me to do with him? Make friends? Let him know that we have to leave him behind when we go into the abyss? What if... 
What if he didn't need to wake up? You do that? I don't know. Maybe. There. I set it up for you. Hit the switch if you want to drain his battery. He'll die within a minute. I'd rather not stay plugged in any longer. Yep. Two assignments. We got copied because... Because uh, these brain scan things, they are not cut and paste, they are copy and paste. Which means that there are now two Simons and one of them is asleep. Happily in this body. And he is going to wake up in a couple of days and he is going to be utterly screwed up. Now you've got backup. We don't. This is the last suit. So if 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 the like pressure suit Simon dies, then this this Simon is worthless. Plus this Simon won't have Catherine to help. Basically, this Simon is utterly fucked. To be fair, like if if this was the situation I was in, this is the move I'd want someone to make. Sloop this loop. There is no point in that Simon living, because, like, he wakes up, he's in this freaking nightmare, no way to, like, there, there is nowhere to go. You are at the bottom of the ocean. Every single facility is utterly fucked. They are filled with f nightmarish creatures. There is no purpose. There is, like, nowhere to go, nothing to do. You, like the best thing you could do is like stay in this room because that uh, going that way no the best thing you could do is like take a freaking extinguisher and just hit the walls a couple of times that would be your entertainment for the rest of eternity <coughs> and like I said earlier when I played this game if if it was like this kind of a situation where humanity is completely destroyed and you're at the bottom of the ocean in a deteriorating facility that is slowly be being filled up with monsters I wouldn't want to be on this facility I'd rather be one of the ones that got fried up on the surface Okay, give me a checkpoint so that I can end this nightmare for today. Oh, there we go. Thank God. I'm going to leave it there. Yeah, this, this today's livestream was a little bit long, but I did want to get through this segment because I knew that there was some bullshit during this segment and also some of the more philosophical stuff. So, like, well, Tubi, here's the thing. Technically, I was making that choice for myself. Technically. I wasn't making it for anyone else. That, that, is, the, the, that is the philosophical justification for my action. I knew what I'd pick, so I picked exactly that. But yeah, that, that's SOMA for tonight. Uh, we're going to continue this next week again on Friday livestream.